how much definition and clarity to the muscle you can bring. And the only way you can honestly do that is by focusing on the form and technique as best as possible. So let's go. Now this exercise works the front part of your shoulder. It also again adds to that 3D look. It gives you more detail and definition in your shoulder. So let's walk through it. I'll show you how I walk through it. So you're gonna stand upright, dumbbells at your side, arms completely extended. You're gonna raise it, not completely all the way to the top, but a little higher than your eye level. Because the higher you raise it, the more you, you bring it to the midline of your body, instead of outwards or straight up, you actually are able to, you're actually able to contract this shoulder right here. Right there. You're actually able to contract this area much better when you raise it up and bring it to the midline of your body as opposed to going straight up that way or outward. So this is how I like to do it. I get to squeeze this area a little bit more when I do it. So let's walk through it. Standing straight up, and you're just gonna raise up. Try to focus as much as you can on keeping your arm as extended as possible and focusing on the front part of your shoulder. Because that's the only way you're gonna get the maximum contraction and benefit from your efforts in this exercise. So you're going straight up and down. 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 Always try to keep the movement as controlled as possible especially when you're going heavier. Again, this is an these are isolation workouts, so you're not trying to stress how heavy you can go, you're trying to stress how much definition and clarity to the muscle you can bring. And the only way you can honestly do that is by focusing on the form and technique as best as possible. side of the shoulder, you want to have the dumbbells in front of you, okay? That's the way that I like to do it. You want to have your feet about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit closer if you can, and bend your knees a little bit, and you're going to lean forward into it a little bit, have the dumbbells right in front of your waist, elbows locked, about 90 degrees as you can tell, and then you want to keep them locked in that position the whole exercise, the whole movement, all the way up and then all the way down. So when you're leaning forward a little bit, it targets two muscles in the shoulder at the same time, both the rear, the back of the arm, and the lateral, the one on the side. So that's why I think it's pretty good. It allows you to go a little bit heavier too, um, and it allows for growth, but overall you create that 3D look by doing these isolated dumbbell flies. So moving forward a little bit, touching the, the dumbbells in front of you, chest out, back straight, elbows locked, we're gonna go straight up, let's go. You're gonna raise it up above it, shoulder height. You're gonna come down. Remember to keep the elbows locked. And breathe out of the bottom. Up. Try to squeeze it to the top as much as you can. Put as much emphasis on your shoulders as you can. Really take advantage of each rep. One of the main things that can change when you're doing the flies is the positioning of your wrist. One position would be the neutral position, which is where your wrists are like this and they're at your side. And the other position would be where your hands are overhand grip and you're leaning forward and you're targeting more of the rear part of your deltoids. And you could also position them with the wrist up. Lean forward and fly. So there's just different ways of gripping it. I recommend you do it once you get used to one exercise or one way of doing the exercise for like a few weeks and then that kind of does shock the muscle a little bit, but it's just a little tip.